There is a person here in our midst. All the time when you asleep, you see yourself dead in a coffin. And this thing has been happening time and again, time and again, time and again. And now you are even afraid of what will happen to you. Come here. Come to the front. You see yourself dead in the dream time and again. Your spirit of death, come out of the lady. Come out. Come out. Come out. What are you doing to her? What are you doing to her? Why do you want to kill her? Eh? Why do you want to kill her? Eh? Speak, you are wasting my time. Why do you want to kill her? I don't do a shona. Eh? I want to kill her. I want to kill her. I want to kill her. One by one. That's the end. It doesn't die. I want to kill her. Why do you want to kill all of them? I want to kill her. 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 Yeah. 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 One by one. Now I command you to come out. Now. In the name of Jesus. Come out, you spirit. In Jesus' name. One, two, three. Come out. You are free. Can you tell us your name and where you come from? Meldra Chauke from Ivor Park. Yeah. And today you received a word of prophecy yes. from Prophetess Tendro Simone. Can you tell us what is it that she said to you and also confirm it? She said the spirit of death in me that I don't even know what's going to happen because every time when I sleep I dream myself dead. Yes, it's true. I've been seeing myself dead. I'm even afraid of sleeping now because every time when I sleep I see myself dead. And for how long has this been happening? Since June. It's been going on since June. And how was it affecting you? It's been affecting me badly because I started have to have a migraine when I go to the doctor. He said the problem is my eyes. So it's been affecting me badly. I can't even sleep now. I'm afraid of sleeping. Yes. And when uh, Prophetess Tendo prayed for you, you uh, the demon that manifested through you said that it wants to kill everybody in your family. Is there anyone that has passed away in your family? Yes, my sister passed away in 2011. Was, since my sister passed away, I've been sick all the time. Yes. And since you've been sick all the time, were you having the fear that even me, maybe I am following? Yes, I have this fear that my sister passed away when she was 29. So now that I'm 28, there's this fear that I'm not going to reach 29. I'm going to die at the age of 29. And now that they've prayed for you, how are you feeling? I feel better. Even the migraine is gone because I couldn't even move my head. It was painful. I feel better. Any words of encouragement to those that are watching? Yes, Charis is the place to go to. When you come to Charis, everything that has been closed, of course, is going to be opened. Yes. You've, been, you've been bleeding for a while now. Please don't be ashamed. Come to the front. You have been bleeding, and now you are bleeding blood. Hmm? Yes. Yeah? Yes. You are now bleeding blood. Yes. How long have you been bleeding? Since the 30th of last month. Since the 30th of last month? Yes. My sister, how long have you been ble bleeding? Since 2013. Huh? Since 2013. Since 2013. You went to the doctor. Yeah. And they told you they don't know what's the cause they don't of, of your problem. I command this bleeding to stop now. In the name of Jesus. Your spirit, come out! Come out! In Jesus' name! 
come out of my sister. Leave her. Leave her now. Leave her now. Leave her now. In Jesus' name. Ceci, Ceci, where is, where is, where is your boyfriend? Hmm? You are staying with him. When is he going to marry you? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. Because I'm praying for you and I'm seeing this man standing next to you. Because even if I pray with you, this thing is still going to continue because you people are not married. And you are living as husband and wife. Can I pray for you for marriage so that he, he marries you? Yeah. Because this thing is done to you so that nobody will marry you. Hmm? Yeah, it's true. Because all along people come, people come, they say they will marry. When it's like time is going, they just leave you just like that. This is the case of your family for nobody to be married at home. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I pray for marriage in Jesus' name. Be married in Jesus' name. My sister, you are free. Can you tell us your name and where you come from? I'm Lucy, I'm from Beni, from Maghev. I'm, I'm staying at Tuelapi. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today from Prophetess Tendo Simono and also confirm it? The prophecy I received today is true. I've been having a problem of bleeding since 2013. It troubled me a lot because I go to the, to the doctor and they give me the pills. When I, I drink that pills, when the pills finish, and the blood started to come out. Now that she has prayed for you, what is it that you believe God has done for you? I, I believe in God, I, I, and I believe I'm here today. Words of encouragement to the viewers? Uh, I want to tell people to just believe in God. God is a savior. So I want to tell people, God is a safe. I know today I'm here. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Can I talk to you? Yes, you. You are having stagnation. Yes. Do you know what's causing your stagnation? Can I tell you? Yes. Your friends. You are one of those people when God blesses you, church is no longer that much important to you. Am I lying against you? I'm not sure. Hmm? I'm not sure because I always come to church. When your things were going well, how many times did you tithe? I've been tithing ever since I'm saved. I never skipped my tithe. You've never skipped your tithe. But the one you are giving is not the correct one either. I don't want to suck you. Are you hearing me, my sister? Yes. I don't want to suck you. But the tithe I'm seeing is not the correct one either. And now the devil has tempered with everything that God has given you. Now you are working hard. Nothing is coming out of it. Yes. Hmm? Yes. You're going in and coming in. It's like you are standing in the same place. Yes. Hmm? Yes. And now you are starting to be worried. Yes. Because you are losing a lot of money. Now, and nothing is coming back to you. Yes. Huh? Yes. I want to pray for you. Amen. 
so that God releases you from this pregnancy. But please tithe the right tithe. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. Tithe the right tithe. Touch your stomach. Did you go to the doctor? Yes. And what did the doctor say? That I'm pregnant. I know you are pregnant. Did the doctor also tell you that there is growth in you? No. They haven't told you? No. But there is a pain that you feel here? Yes. Hmm? Yes, all the time. All the time, and it's yes. uncomfortable. Yes. This is to block what God wants to give you. In Jesus' name. You are free. In Jesus' name. Can you tell us your name and where you come from? My name is Maria Sikwe. I come from Brazil Northwest. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today from Prophetess Tendo Simone and also confirm it? Uh, she prophesied to me that I'm facing stagnation and I confirm that to be true. And she also prophesied that um, I'm feeling pain in my stomach. And um, he, she asked me, what did the doctor tell me? Then I told her that the doctor told me that I was pregnant. And she said, did they tell you anything about uh, the growth in the stomach? I said, no, but I constantly feel pain in my stomach. So she said that pain is the one that is causing stagnation. And also, I'm not tithing the right way. So that means I'm not faithful in my tithing. And I confirm that to be true. And how has this pain been affecting you? Like, if I sit down for a long time, I'll feel pain. Every day after driving for an hour, I feel so much pain that I can't even do anything in the house. Yes. And the stag stagnation, how was it affecting your life? It's because I'm losing money that I put in business. Even my profit is they're no longer like before. So sometimes I feel discouraged and start worrying. Yes. And today you received your deliverance. What is it that you believe God will start doing in your life? I believe that there will be a restoration and healing anointing upon my life. Words of encouragement to the viewers? Um, I just want to encourage uh, others to be faithful in God, like the message of today that the prophet was preaching about. Yes. There's a job that is coming your way. Amen. But don't rush. Amen. Your problem is when when things are skeptical, you wanted to start a ministry. I don't... I mean, when things were no longer stable at your working place, you thought of going into ministry. God is going to bless you with a job. Amen. But don't go into ministry. Thank you. Man. Remember what happened with your first ministry? Yes, prophetess. The same will happen again. I hear you, prophetess. A job is coming. Wait for God's time. Amen. You hear? Amen. Then God will do it for you. In Jesus' name. You are free. Can you tell us your name and where you come from? My name is Johnson Pillar. I am from Four Ways. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today from Prophetess Tendo Simon and also confirm it? Yes, I received a prophecy from Prophetess Tendo. Uh, one of the prophecy was that there's a job that is coming to me. And also another prophecy was that I'm supposed to wait for God's time. And um, I confirm all of the prophecies to be true because I haven't been going to work for quite some time. So when I received this prophet, I believe it's, uh, I believe that God has opened doors for me to get a job. And at the same time, I believe that the grace of God to wait for the right time for me to, 
to do the work of God at a time that God has appointed. He has been released to me as I've been prayed for, and of which that, uh, yes, I confirm the prophecies to be true. And for how long have you been searching for a job? Uh, beginning of March this year. Yeah, beginning of March this year. Yes. And what is it that you believe God will do for you as the woman of God has spoken with you today? I believe that as God has located me through Prophet Estando, I'm convinced and I know that the doors have been opened. Therefore, I have the job now. It's only time for me to testify that God has blessed me with a job and I believe it's a great, better, wonderful job than the previous one. And also, I also believe that as he has prayed for me, many other things that I'm not aware of through the prayer that has been offered to me by her, I believe many things have changed in my life. Words of encouragement to the viewers. Words of encouragement to the viewers. My encouragement is to just stand strong in Christ. In life, there are many circumstances, many situations that we confront. But I am convicted and I believe that in all situations and in all times, we need to stay strong in Christ Jesus. He is faithful. He will see us through. And I believe, be committed in church. There is a time and a point whereby you can receive a word like the way I received and God of mercy will see you through. Amen. Let's pray for breakthrough. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. I said let's pray for what? For breakthrough. For breakthrough. Because you are working but nothing is working for you. Yes. Huh? Yes, it's true. And you have a lot of responsibilities. Yes, it's true. But nothing is working out. Nothing is working out. In Jesus' name. My sister, go and prosper. In Jesus' name. Can you tell us your name and where you come from? My name is Nozuse Masaji. I'm from Hospital View in Tembisa. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today from Prophetess Tendo Simona and also confirm it? Yes, uh, she said the prophecy was, let us pray for breakthrough because I'm working but there's nothing is moving and I've got a lot of responsibilities. And how was that affecting you, the fact that you've been working but there was nothing to show? It is very stressful and frustrating to know that you are working and there's, there are a lot of people around you that you must help, then you can't do that much. Yes. And today were you praying that God should locate this challenge that you've been coming across in your life? Yes, I've been praying. I've been praying. And now that you've been located, what is it that you believe that God will now do for you? I know it is done. I am so happy. I am so happy. I know that God has done it for me. Words of encouragement to the viewers? I can say to the viewers, a anything is possible. With God, a anything is possible. They must not give, hope, uh, give up hope. Everything is possible. Amen.